People are lazy. So lazy that if breathing didn't come naturally, they wouldn't exist. Maybe you think there are certain activities that only bring joy, like planning a trip. But let's be honest, if it was so, there wouldn't be travel platforms that do a bunch of travel-related things for you, instead of you. From recommending places you may find interesting to reading millions of hotel reviews so that you won't have to, traveling has become super convenient thanks to artificial intelligence. So how exactly machine learning and AI is used in travel? A McKinsey study argues that the travel industry has one of the biggest shares of AI impact with the potential to create $400 billion in value. First, we'll talk about personalization and recommender systems. Meet Walter. He's an ordinary guy who dreams of adventures and traveling the world. One of Walter's friends talks about amazing places in Iceland and encourages him to go on a trip there too. But like many of us, Walter wants to know some things in advance about the destination of his interest. So, to learn more about Iceland, he goes to TripAdvisor, opens the Things to Do page, clicks a few times on experiences that have caught his eye, and voila! Offers that are perfectly tailored to Walter's interests are waiting for him within the recommended for you shelf. Amazing, right? But here's the question, how? The systems known as recommender engines learn from the data about the user's past views and interactions and apply machine learning algorithms to predict the user's next interest and provide the most relevant suggestions. In the case of TripAdvisor, the approach used to build the recommender system is called the item-based collaborative filtering model. It focuses on providing users with recommendations of items, like the ones they already interact with. Getting back to our Iceland-inspired traveler, say he communicated with three experiences in the following ways. He viewed the volcano called, well, that one that nobody can pronounce. He viewed and checked the availability of the tours from Arctic Adventures, and he viewed, checked the availability, and booked Katla Volcano Ice Cave Tour. The system searches for the highest aggregated similarities to all other attractions and tours Walter browsed and gives recommendations of other experiences he might be interested in, like the seven-day guided ring road tour to explore the Circle of Iceland. So, whether you're a nature lover like Walter, a culture vulture, a party animal, or a social butterfly, AI-powered systems will recommend activities tailored to you. Humans hate talking to humans. Otherwise, how would you explain that every third international traveler is interested in using chatbots to research and book their trips? We're just kidding, of course. Or are we? Anyway, while people are still an inevitable part of customer support in any industry, digital assistants or chatbots are confidently taking over this area. So, travel AI chatbots make up another remarkable use case we're going to explore. In simple terms, chatbots are these tiny Santa's helpers in the world of computer systems that reproduce a human-like conversation online. Simpler bots rely on predefined scripts and rules. Those that have the right to be called AI-based rely on natural language processing, or NLP. Basically, they convert text or voice inputs into a format understandable to a machine. Such chatbots are trained to single out words and phrases within incoming messages, capture patterns in them, and use this data to predict a customer's intent and provide a relevant answer. Say our old buddy is ready to book a flight to Iceland because it's such a beautiful place with volcanoes and glaciers, blah, blah, blah. He opens up the popular Eddie Travels bot assistant in Messenger, makes a query, I'd like to fly to Iceland via text or voice, and gets flight deals in real time. Such services can do a bunch of things like advising on a travel destination, or booking a flight, or a room in a local hotel. Moreover, chatbots can greatly reduce customer support overload. Just picture a person who has one minute to answer all 245 messages questioning whether breakfast is included in the ticket price. Yeah, unless this person is Tom Cruise, the mission is impossible. Smartbots can also replace human hosts in hotels. Let's take, for example, virtual host Edward from Edwardian Hotels London. This cool AI chatbot uses text messaging to provide hotel guests with personalized information and assistance. He can help you order room service, 
or send you a dental kit to your room in case you forgot your toothpaste. Some chatbots have already evolved into even more intelligent systems, like ChatGPT, that respond to vague queries, such as summer extreme vacation in France for two, or become a travel companion giving the right directions. Unfortunately, they can't replace that one annoying friend who keeps asking, Are we there yet? But with the pace artificial intelligence technologies are developing, it's just a matter of time. Actually, me and my boyfriend are planning to fly to Paris in May. So. Oh, that's fun! But no, I do not see flight to Paris. I see you are driving to Kentucky. Unlike your local psychic, ML-enabled technologies can predict the future. Flight fares, for example. Let's shine a spotlight on price prediction in travel now. Price prediction is a classical problem of time series forecasting. Simply put, it entails developing models that can find trends in past observations and apply them to forecast the future. The idea here is that history tends to repeat itself at a certain point. In most cases, the technology behind all of this magic are RNNs, recurrent neural networks. They can remember previous data inputs and produce forecasts. However, RNNs can only remember short data sequences. That's when a long short-term memory architecture comes to the rescue, increasing their memory span. Let's say for every week of the past year, Thursday was the least popular day for flying. Saturdays, though, were the most fully booked. In this scenario, it's highly likely for the trend to be unchanged in the future. RNNs taking such data into account predict prices for each day of the week. Apart from the internal factors like dates, demand, and distance, the price prediction feature also looks at external factors that can influence pricing, like COVID-19, conferences, and concerts, to name a few. For airlines, such forecasting means they can stay competitive and sell out more inventory by adjusting their pricing strategies. For travelers, it means confidence in getting the best flight deal and not being ripped off. Who hasn't been in a situation when they booked a flight and a couple of days later they found out the flight fare decreased? A bummer, right? Price prediction tools eliminate this is now the right time to book my flight dilemma. For example, Kayak, one of the leading travel search engines, has its own price prediction module that analyzes tons of past data and suggests the best time to buy a ticket so that travelers can make informed decisions. A watch recommendation means that Kayak doesn't foresee prices going up in the near future and a user can wait for his paycheck to clear. A buy now recommendation means prices are likely to rise, so it's better to spend savings and purchase a flight as soon as possible. It's as simple as that. At Altexsoft, we help develop the price prediction module for Fareboom, an online ticket reservation system. The prediction comes in the form of an informative line chart showing how the price is expected to change over time. The service also provides recommendations on the best dates to purchase a flight, along with pop-up price alerts. Okay. Now it's time for our Walter to search for a suitable hotel room for a couple of nights. He opens a hotel website, types the approximate check-in and check-out dates, and pinches himself to make sure he's not dreaming when he sees how low the prices are. As luck would have it, the hotel Walter wanted to book uses dynamic pricing in its revenue management. Would you like to know more about dynamic pricing in travel? We're about to explain it. For those of you who missed our previous posts and videos on this topic, dynamic pricing is the strategy of adjusting your product or service pricing based on the current state of market demands. Machine learning algorithms bring dynamic pricing to a whole new level thanks to the ability to analyze a wide array of factors that may influence the demand for a particular hotel room and regulate pricing on the fly. The factors can be both internal and external, including public events such as music festivals, business conferences, and sports competitions, the occupancy of nearby properties, weather conditions, and more. Luckily for Walter, spring isn't that busy in Iceland, not loaded with festivals or tourists. There's a low demand period and hotels want to maximize the room occupancy by providing cheap deals. It's common practice for hotels, OTAs, and airlines to take advantage of machine learning predictive analytics these days. For example, Starwood Hotels, which was acquired by Marriott International in 2016, utilizes predictive analytics to match current demand with room pricing. The company invested more than $50 million into a development of its revenue optimization system that can investigate all sorts of data, 
including daily rates, occupancy and cancellations, user booking behavior, and weather, to name a few. The results are used to forecast demand and suggest optimized room rates in real time. Another important topic we'd like to discuss is how travel industry uses sentiment analysis in social media. Social media is one of the most powerful motivators and influencers regarding traveling and making travel-related decisions. According to 2019 research, an overwhelming 86% of people confessed they'd become interested in a specific location after seeing user-generated content. Other statistics show that U.S. adults heavily rely on social media to plan their summer trips. Gen Zs are as likely to use social media as they will use travel sites like TripAdvisor. In numbers, that's 57% for Gen Z and 54% for millennials. Pretty impressive, right? Many of these people go to Facebook and Instagram to read reviews by other travelers and decide on what place they want to visit next. Once the trip is over, they will leave an observation about their own travel experience on social media, completing the circuit. And that's a ton of valuable data that brands can dig out and analyze to make better offers and drive higher revenue. TripAdvisor, Booking.com, Yelp, and a wealth of other travel review platforms provide another extensive share of data ready to be processed, but doing it manually is simply impossible. Try to look through all user opinions from TripAdvisor that passed 1 billion reviews in 2022. To automate the processes of customer feedback analysis, hotels, Airlines and other travel businesses use modern, powerful computers along with the machine learning technique known as sentiment analysis. It is a process of mining text to detect if customer sentiment is positive, negative, or neutral. One of the most effective ways to do sentiment analysis is the CNN model. And we don't mean the news channel, just to avoid confusion. CNN stands for Convolutional Neural Network the advanced machine learning algorithms capable of analyzing texts, finding patterns in them, and considering all words with negative and positive coloring by giving them a sentiment score. But for the machine to understand natural human language, words must be represented as numeric values and vectors. For this, various word embedding techniques are used. One of them is the Word2Vec neural net that studies word neighbors. It places words that are used in the same context close to each other. If it sees words like every day, daily, and each day, it groups them together. There are many services that can perform sentiment analysis. For example, Google offers a cloud-based NLP service called Cloud Natural Language that provides APIs for text analysis, sentiment analysis, and entity recognition. Let's take this review from Michael about his stay in Spring Hill Suites by Marriott Columbus in Dublin. As you can see, there are some things the visitor liked and disliked, which can lead to hesitation. But when analyzed with the ML tool, it gives a generally positive score of 0.4. The above-mentioned ChatGPT can also do the sentiment analysis job for you. It feels that there's nothing this thing can't do, right? In addition to off-the-shelf solutions, many travel-related companies develop their custom sentiment analysis tools to track social media reactions to their products and services. For example, Dorchester Collection, a luxury hotel operator, leveraged an AI platform to perform sentiment analysis of customer satisfaction surveys and evaluate the overall performance of their hotels. Here's what Dorchester Collection's Director for Global Guest Experience and Innovation, Anna Brandt, said. Our greatest challenge is to gain new insights about our guests by connecting the dots between different feedback channels and thereby make decisions based on what they are saying they need and want. We at Altexsoft are no strangers to the sentiment analysis technique. Our data science team developed an NLP-powered application called Choicey. The tool aggregates customer-created hotel reviews from public sources, analyzes them, and then generates amenity quality ratings for each hotel. While sentiment analysis tools are great help for both hoteliers and their visitors, they fall short when it comes to ironic or sarcastic reviews. If a traveler leaves a comment like, my stay in this hotel was as great as the Matrix 4 movie, a human will understand that's an awful experience, but the tool won't. Data has enormous potential, and machine learning is the technology capable of unlocking it all. Decades ago, no one could even dream of discovering places before going there or having a smart machine do all the booking and purchasing for them. 
For a modern traveler, on the other hand, this is something common and self-evident. While we can't foresee the future, we can try to hazard a guess at what the travel industry will be like 100 years from now. Who knows? Will there be something more powerful than artificial intelligence? Leave your guesses in the comments in this video and stay tuned.